Welcome back to the joy of vinyl. I'm Rick Coast. You know, Kermit the Frog once said, it's not easy being green. And yes, I know, I just quoted a puppet, but the sentiment is, it's true. Not the green part. I wouldn't know what it's like to be a frog or, or even a bat, as the philosopher Thomas Nagel said. What I do know about is being an audiophile. And I have to tell you, it's not easy. It's a journey that never ends, or a never-ending story. What does it mean to be an audiophile anyway? I mean, it doesn't mean you're an expert in it. I, I'm certainly not. And, but what it does mean is you are always learning something new. It's what you do when presented with new information that makes being an audiophile frustrating and sometimes expensive. An audiophile's passion isn't just about the music. I mean, that's a huge part of it. That's the bedrock. But it goes beyond it to include the equipment being used to recreate in the highest fidelity possible the way the music was recorded or performed live. It involves learning about you know, some of the technical aspects of audio reproduction. And that could include a knowledge about headphones, speakers, amplifiers, DACs, which is digital to analog converters, um, high resolution digital or analog audio sources, and even turntables for vinyl records. That's my specialty. And that's the thing. When I say my specialty, I'm not setting myself up as the expert of all things related to vinyl records. Being an audiophile with a passion for vinyl sound reproduction means that I put a lot of effort and a lot of time into understanding how it all works, from the stylus to the speakers. I don't need to be an engineer, but I do want to understand what the engineer and the design folks have, you know, have put together or made available, you know, what it does and actually what it costs, you know, it's the bottom line. And there's always something new to learn. I like to take others on that journey with me to compare notes, you know, to share the excitement, or in my case, the joy of vinyl. As with everything audio related, opinions vary. And man, did they vary. I didn't wake up one day and say, hey, I want to be an audiophile. It just kind of happened. It happened when I began to really care about things like soundstage and that moment when the speakers disappear and you can hear every nuance in a piece of music as if the band or the musicians were in the room with you. I'm not going to lie though. It comes with a chest load, I'm serious, a chest load of frustrations, enough to rip your hair out at times. And it wasn't always this way for me. I wasn't always that concerned with the sound. Of course, I loved good sound, but I didn't know what I loved. I've been collecting records off and on for over 40 years. When I started, I have to say, I, I did care about the records I bought. That's probably because I had to save my allowance for each one. Then it was saving the money I earned from the part-time job I had after school. I earned, I earned $3.35 an hour. And I think new records at the time cost about eight bucks back then. I wasn't about sound reproduction. I just wanted to listen to the music. I also cleaned them, but only if I saw dust on them. Some of the records, the ones I bought in the, say, the late 70s or, or late 1980s, have seen a lot of bad equipment and turntables over the course of their existence. It's a wonder they survived. It's a wonder I survived sometimes. But I didn't know nor care a whole lot about the equipment as long as it produced sound. A speaker was a speaker to me. I would say the audiophile gene in me was turned on maybe six years ago. That's when I began to care to where I wanted to learn about what went into reproducing the sound I wanted to hear from both 50-year-old records to brand new ones from current artists that I enjoy. Now, I've made many, I mean many, little mistakes, and I've changed my mind about more than a few things. My opinion about a piece of equipment or even a cleaning method might be different five years from now or even, or even next month. As I said, it's a journey, a constant journey. So why is it frustrating? Well, as with any journey or adventure worth anything, you'll encounter the unexpected or discover a new peak to climb. With me, it's equipment and cleaning methods. 
I still swear by the Record Doctor 6, Turgic Clean and Distilled Water, and the, sp and the Spin Clean Rinse afterwards. But I am intrigued by ultrasonic cleaning, so much so that I know one of these days I'll, I'll test one out or test out a system. And my system also, my, you know, my components, everything, that, you know, they've also changed over the years. More so in the last three years than in the last 30. Now I've tested and used a handful of turntables and speakers, and here's where I am right now. Now that I'm happy with some of the more recent purchases, my focus has shifted to the soundscape. This means my speakers are going to be the next upgrade, and maybe a preamp after that. I like the preamp I have, but I, I'm sure it can even be better. My Klipsch, uh, I've only had less than a year, I think, and I'm already looking for something else. Like I said, it's an expensive thing to be an audiophile. Do I enjoy it? You bet I do. I'd love to get to the point where I say, yep, this is it, this is the sound. Actually, I do say that now and then, when I, and then I research speakers and what else I can do to improve the sound, but I do love the audio community as well. Sure, people argue, they, they disagree, they disagree about everything sometimes, from the best format to you know, the best cleaning process or stylus types. But what matters to me are the discussions. Like I said, I'm always learning and I'm always sharing what I've learned and adding new tidbits of knowledge especially the ones I get from others. It's what it's all about for me. And of course, it's about the music. It's always about the music. And with that said, if any of this resonates with you, click subscribe over here. And thank you for watching. And until next time, please take care of yourself and enjoy your records.